We could be on the edge of a major breakthrough in the fight against skin cancer with the world first plan to map patients' bodies using three-dimensional scans. The research conducted at Melbourne's Monash University will see the skin of 15,000 people put under the microscope. It's hoped the results will help identify those most likely to suffer melanoma and other skin cancers. Associate Professor Victoria Mara is leading the research team, joins us live from Melbourne. Professor, um, how will this change the way melanoma is currently diagnosed on screen? Well, the issue is that currently we're not particularly targeted in our approach to screening for and diagnosing melanoma. So uh, some people who are at very high risk, particularly those in regional and rural areas, are perhaps not seeing uh, someone to get their skin checked as often as they should do. And other people who are lower risk are actually probably seeing their doctor for skin checks um, more frequently than they really need to. Uh, so with this approach, we aim to automate some of that risk assessment so that we're really targeting people who need to be seen uh, at specific intervals. And we're also looking at improving the accuracy with how we diagnose melanoma. So looking for specific patterns uh, in moles and teaching a computer how to, uh, how to assist us uh, be more accurate in detecting lesions earlier. So you've got 15 of these 3D machines, have you, that are going to be sent out to Queensland, Victoria and New South Wales. Tell us how uh, they'll actually work. That's right. So um, we have a, an infrastructure grant from the Australian Cancer Research Foundation to place 15 of these machines across the three eastern states to start with. Uh, we would love to roll this out as a national program. Uh, and at least a couple of those machines in each state will be in rural or regional areas. So we'll develop a, a telehealth network so that if you live in Mount Isa or more remotely, uh, we'll be able to read those images uh, in Melbourne or Sydney or Brisbane uh, and provide assistance with diagnosis. Uh, we'll ask participants to come in and we'll do a very thorough risk assessment uh, and then we'll um, assign a surveillance program based on that uh, risk assessment to collect images over a period of time. Uh, and then if people have any lesions removed, we'll have a look at the pathology mm. from those lesions. And with all of that data and with the risk data and people's genetic data, we'll be able to develop new algorithms that will be able to help us diagnose uh, melanoma earlier and before they become problematic. Wow, that's wonderful Brilliant. in this country. That's a great step forward. All the very best with it. Uh, keep us up to date as uh, the research goes forward. Thanks very much. Thanks, Victoria.